Hello and welcome to Utexpiration Channel. Have you ever wondered if we can actually slow down the speed of light? It might sound impossible, but today, we're going to explore how scientists have managed to do just that. Get ready for some mind-blowing science. First, let's talk about the speed of light in a vacuum. The speed of light is approximately 299,792 kilometers per second, or about 186,282 miles per second. This is the maximum speed at which all energy, matter, and information in the universe can travel. It's a fundamental constant of nature. Slow down light, being a temporal offset between the maximum gain and the maximum dispersion, can be achieved experimentally by different techniques. A lot of papers discussing slow down light appeared. Here it is not possible to review all the works published thereafter. However, a few experimental breakthroughs and new developments are worth mentioning. When we talk about slowing down light, we are not actually changing the fundamental constant of the speed of light in a vacuum. See, what we are doing is slowing down the propagation of photons through a specific medium. The speed of light in a vacuum, C, remains constant and cannot be changed. However, when light travels through different materials, such as air, water, or glass, it slows down. This happens because light interacts with the atoms in these materials. So, while the speed of light in a vacuum is constant, it can be reduced in other media. This phenomenon is known as refraction. Each medium has a property called the refractive index. For example, the refractive index of water is about 1.33, while that of glass is around 1.5. The higher the refractive index, the slower light travels through that medium. Now let's explore some advanced techniques that scientists use to slow down light even further, Bose-Einstein condensates or BEC. In experiments involving BEC, scientists have managed to slow light to a complete stop. In this state, atoms are cooled to near absolute zero, causing them to occupy the same quantum state. When light passes through this medium it can be effectively brought to a halt. Electromagnetically induced transparency or EIT can slow light down significantly. In some experiments, light has been slowed to speeds as low as 60 km per hour, approximately 16.67 meters per second. This technique involves using a control laser to manipulate the properties of the medium. Photonic crystals are optical materials that can manipulate the flow of light. By designing photonic crystals with specific structures, researchers can create conditions where light can be slowed down to very low speeds, potentially below 17 meters per second. Imagine light traveling through a tube filled with water. The light will move slower compared to when it travels through an empty tube. Similarly, when light passes through glass, it slows down even more. This is why objects appear distorted when viewed through water or glass. Let's take a closer look at how these techniques work. Electromagnetically induced transparency, or EIT, 3.6 km per second or 12,960 km per hour, was achieved in 2025 using a superconducting qubit resonator system. 8 meters per second, 0.008 kilometers per s, was demonstrated using cold or warm gases of three-level atoms. Bose-Einstein condensates, or BC, show the most dramatic slowdown, 17 meters per second, 0.017 kilometers per s, or equals 61.2 kilometers per hour, using ultra-cold sodium atoms. Scientists have even managed to completely stop light momentarily and then release it. Photonic crystal, 9.7 km per second or equals 34,920 km per hour, was achieved in semiconductor material. More recently, researchers have demonstrated speeds reduced by more than 10,000 times using silicon metasurfaces with nanodisc arrays. Understanding how light behaves in different media is crucial for various technologies. For instance, it plays a vital role in designing optical fibers for communication systems and in the development of quantum computing, where controlling light is essential for processing information. But the applications don't stop there. Here are some additional impacts of slowing down light, medical imaging. Slowing down light can enhance techniques like optical coherence tomography, improving imaging resolution in medical diagnostics, data storage. Slower light speeds can lead to advancements in optical data storage, allowing for faster read and write speeds and increased data density. Quantum cryptography. Controlling light speed is essential in developing secure communication systems that utilize quantum mechanics for encryption. Metrology. Precise measurements of light speed can improve the accuracy of various scientific instruments, 
leading to better experimental results. In conclusion, while the speed of light in a vacuum remains constant, scientists have developed innovative techniques to slow it down significantly. From Bose-Einstein condensates to photonic crystals, these advancements not only deepen our understanding of light but also pave the way for future technologies. The achievements in slowing down light vary based on the technique used and the specific experimental conditions. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this information interesting, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.